everybody. We're here at the Harris Seeds Trial Grounds today and we are laying some drip tape on our freshly transplanted ornamentals. Um, so we're just going to show you here how we install the drip tape. Um, we've already laid our header pipe and our drip tape valves um, and we just connect these by sticking these at the end of the valve. Kind of snug them in there and spin this guy up and it tightens it down. And then Jeff here is gonna roll drip tape out along the row. As you can see, we've rolled one row of drip tape for every row of plants. Um, and the idea with this drip tape is it has little slits on the bottom about every foot. So when we put the water through this, um, the drip tape will puff up and will slowly drip water onto the ground and onto the plants. And drip tape's really great to use because it uh, conserves water. You don't get as much evaporation because you're not spraying water up into the air like with a sprinkler system. When you drip it, it's dripping right onto the ground. So there's very little evaporation. So it's a very efficient way of irrigating your plants. Um, and Jeff is just tying up the end down there. He's just making a little cap and folding it around itself um, so that when the water goes through, when the end's all folded up, it can't shoot out the bottom. keep the drip tape from flying around everywhere. We use a couple sod staples throughout. With the sod staples, you just wanna be careful that you don't pinch this down too much because it can pinch off the flow of the water uh, once this has water running through it. Um, and again, the sod staples just help the drip tape stay in place so the wind's not blowing it around. Uh, it doesn't flip upside down. Sometimes when the water goes through it, it can wiggle a little bit and get bowed. Um, so these just help it stay in place have our header pipe connected to our spigot. This is where our main line comes out. Um, and we have an injector on here that is injecting a solution of water and fertilizer into the line so that every time we water, we're also fertilizing our plants, um, which is referred to as fertigation typically. We are gonna put a timer on here so that uh, this will all happen automatically. We don't need to mess with it every day. Um, the timer just sets and goes and we'll water these for about 30 to 40 minutes a day, um, depending on the weather.